guys welcome back to my channel today I'm back with this lovely banana bread it's healthy it's gluten free it's sugar free I'm going to show you exactly how I made it so first we're going to start with adding two and a half cups of almond flour to a bowl and then we're going to add salt nutmeg cinnamon and then baking powder so basically all our dry ingredients except the sweetener I'm going to mix everything together make sure there are no lumps in a separate bowl I'm going to mash about four medium sized bananas I'm using the mini ones I'm using up to six but um, I'm just going to mash it up again the full details will be in the description box I'm going to mash it till it's almost semi smooth so you still want little chunks in there and then I'm going to add two eggs this will help it to be very moist and then I'm going to add vanilla essence, vanilla essence and then my sugar free substitute which is erythritol. Adding this to the wet ingredients so you can dissolve one, I'm going to add coconut oil and then I'm going to mix it up a little bit and then loosen it up a little bit with coconut milk. So basically we are trying to substitute all the ingredients for healthier ones. And then we are going to now mix the dry and wet ingredients together. I'm now going to combine it. As you can see, this doesn't look like a typical banana bread dough, but because this is a modified healthier recipe, it looks slightly different but still delicious. The almond flour absorbs all the liquid and it forms a thick paste. And then now it's ready to pour into the baking pan. I'm just going to all my baking pan and I've lined it with wax paper so it's smooth. And doesn't stick to the pan and it also makes it very easy to remove so now once you've transferred it you want to make sure that everything is kind of sinking to the bottom and well spread out so we're going to use this spatula to just smooth out the top and then just bang it a couple times on the table till it's flat and then we're going to go ahead and top pretty much customize your toppings I'm just using shaved almonds and dark chocolate chips sweetened this stevia the dark chocolate chips go so well with banana, oh my god. And then we're going to bake it at 120 degrees Celsius. Again, remember all the details is in the description box. And after about an hour, our banana bread is going to be ready. And we're going to quickly, quickly do the toothpick test, which is just sticking the toothpick into the baked bread. And if it comes out clean, it's completely baked. So as you can see, this one is completely cooked through. And then now we're going to cool it down before slicing it. It's very important to cool it down first, if not, it's going to crumble up. There you have it guys, here's your delicious gluten free healthy banana bread using a retreator. You can substitute for any other sugar you like and I've got 13 slices out of this one. Please follow me on Instagram and subscribe to my YouTube. Bye!